Uh, most, er most landowners in the uh, area should have by now received an information pack and an expression of interest document from the strategy group and it's time to be giving some thought as to how many shares um, they wish to commit to the next phase. I would hope that the information package is reasonably self-explanatory as far as the options uh, that, that are out there go. But basically what we are asking landowners to do now is have a look at the uh, map on the back of the expression of interest form, identify where their farm is so they, can, they know which zone they are in, and once I've worked that out, that will give them an idea or lead them to the uh, cost of water table, which is an indication of what we would expect the actual cost of water per hectare would be for each zone. So when it comes to, for instance, someone that is um, currently drawing water from Falls Dam, and that's the Omakau, Main Race, Blackston, Galloway and Manuherakia areas, uh, for them they would come under the existing irrigator category along the, along the top, so any hectares that they are currently irrigating they would be looking at that sort of price range from $1,100 to $1,500 depending on which zone it is in as existing irrigators. For those irrigators, if they do have some dry areas between, uh, within that command area, there is the opportunity under the new irrigator uh, category to take shares for that dry area currently under the, um, under the existing command area. So that's uh, what the new irrigator line is for. For those in the uh, new high race zone, which is the yellow zone, uh, the costs are higher. The, those uh, landowners have to meet the cost of raising the, uh, either raising the existing dam or the cost of um, the, the new dam from the portion which the current, ex, uh, current irrigators would fund up and there would be substantial costs in a new high race. So for that area, we are looking at uh, a price of $4,400 per hectare for new irrigators uh, in that zone. As well as that, in that zone, there are a number of private water rights and they are um, slightly more difficult to assess. And here we're talking about not only the private water rights that are hold, held in individual names, but also those um, county schemes or company schemes which may are currently the consent is either held by the Omakau Irrigation Company or administered by the Irrigation Company. And we're suggesting that you treat them the same as a private water right so that the existing irrigators get the benefit of that. So in order to work out how many hectares a private water right holder may, um, may consider taking shares for, we're suggesting that they take, for instance, the total number of hectares that that private water right is irrigating now. Um, within that, have a look at what you think might be reliably irrigated after the consent process um, goes through and then it's a matter of making a deduction or an allowance for the fact that there will be minimum flows both on the main stem and residual flows in those tributaries um, which private water right holders will have to contribute to. Now in the case of a private water right which is relying mainly on runoff which is not likely to occur after a um, 
uh, after 21 when everybody is basically having to convert to spray then obviously that private water right is not going to um, be particularly secure and so it may make sense to top up your shares or take all the area that's currently being irrigated by, by private water right and topping up those with new shares. In the case where a water right is much more um, secure and much more reliable, then we're suggesting that you perhaps make an allowance of, as we say, what can be irrigated reliably, deducting, say, 20% of that for your contribution to a minimum flow and using that as um, basically a credit or a starting point and, and so not uh, no need to commit those that area to um, the new shareholding basis, but rather topping that area up to whatever uh, a landowner wishes to irrigate. Now that may be just back to where uh, what is currently being uh, irrigated from a private water right, or it may include some more new ground uh, on top of that as, as well. So basically looking at topping up um, what uh, you feel may be reconsented after 21 up to whatever area a private water right holder may wish to take. So that's how we would see um, landowners assessing the number of hectares they wish to take um, or indicate interest for in this expression of interest which after all is committing them to $50 a hectare and doesn't commit to um, taking up shares any more than that further on down the process.